truckers might occupy the unglamorous end of the global supply chain, but the shipping industry is an early bellwether of the U.S. economy, and the road ahead is looking bumpy. We believe there's a U.S. freight recession uh, that is just now materializing, and, and it's going to get pretty ugly. The pandemic slowed the U.S. economy in 2020 and 2021 after workers got sick and factories shut down. That led to global shortages as short-staffed cargo companies left shipping containers behind on the dock. Now, the war in Ukraine has sent fuel prices and the cost of shipping soaring, just as demand for a broad range of consumer goods begins to fall. Supply chain experts call that the bullwhip effect. You have tons of inventory and then not enough inventory and then you overreact and you just keep going through this vicious cycle and, and we've, we've seen that over the last couple of years and I think we're now headed in the other direction. Experts predict a recession among shippers within months and that could lead to a U.S. and possibly a global economic downturn. In a rural corner of northwest Arkansas, many of those experts, from trucking companies, leading universities, the Pentagon and elsewhere, have gathered at a conference on the future of the supply chain in hopes of staving off the worst. The pandemic and the war in Ukraine have put kinks in the supply chain, and that has made the process of getting goods from manufacturer to consumer more expensive and more complicated. The people at this conference are working on making that all smoother and less expensive after two rough years. One major kink in the supply chain in the U.S. has been a shortage of drivers. Transforce is a kind of Uber for shippers, acting as an intermediary to link trucking companies with drivers. There's a bottleneck there right now because there aren't enough drivers to sit in those seats in those trucks to get the, the trucks and the goods delivered. Another solution, self-driving trucks, like those made by Torque, a subsidiary of Daimler Trucking. It's going to really enhance the industry. It's, it's going to change it. Sounds like you're not talking about entirely replacing human drivers. Absolutely not. We're here to, to, to help companies with driver retention, to fill the void, uh, and to help them, like I said, enhance their business. With new pandemic variants and no end to a Ukraine war that slowed energy distribution, that will likely continue to leave those drivers still manning the wheel, bracing for what comes next. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Rogers, Arkansas.